Hambledon Football Club are one of our England accredited clubs in, in the county. They do a fantastic job down here. And the work that Matt and Martin and the hours that they put in to keep this ground in tip-top condition is really, really fantastic. They're out here all the time, um, looking after the pitches, watering them, cutting the grass. Um, without this funding from the Football Foundation, it just wouldn't happen because they need the funding to make the facilities bigger. It's been fantastic for us. You know, we started off by getting a small mower, four cylinder mower. We didn't have anything before. And kind of each time, you know, if I say to any groundsman, if you're going to get one thing, it's be a quadruple. You know, that's kind of a game changer for us. It's, it's really helped with the presentation of the pitch. To have the right equipment to do the right job at the right time has made a huge change. It keeps the surface um, safe and the quality of football is, it has results. You can, you can see it on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> the Football Foundation, without them, we, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have all this. The support we've got from them is it's really helped us push on and the hive has been brilliant because it's you know you could kind of someone up other end of the country is having the same issue as you and they've maybe found a, some weird wacky way of doing it you've got people on twitter building weird you know brushes attachments and things like that so it, I, yeah it's you know people who know what you're going through and the challenges you face and kind of is a bit of a sounding board and then you have the experts in there who can who can weigh in as well so, you know bringing out the pitch power reports has been great for us to see how we how we're improving it as well and the data get people like Carl Stanley from Wembley Groundsman commenting or liking a post about your pitch is just it's a bit surreal to be honest the support we've got from Football Foundation and Surrey FA without that we, we wouldn't have all this <laughs>